Hello, good day. This is Andrew again. And now, we're going to discuss PLC Programming Training Part 13. Okay, let's start. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and one actuator. If PB1 is pressed, the process will start. If PB2 is pressed, the process will stop. And as you can see, we have our process here. Cylinder will extend if cylinder is at fully retracted position. Cylinder will retract if cylinder is at fully extended position. And this cycle will repeat unless we press PB2. Okay, let's have our demonstration. Okay, as you can see, when we press PB1, the cylinder will extend, and when it reaches the fully extended position, it will automatically retract. And if the cylinder reaches the fully retracted position, it will extend again, and the cycle will repeat. And the only way to stop the cycle is by pressing PB2. Okay? Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. Okay, this will be my answer to this problem. Let's have our program analysis. As you can see here, when we energize X0, that will make M0 to turn on. And M0 will not turn off because there's a latching here. Then, the normally open contact of M0 will turn on. And because the cylinder is at fully retracted position, X4 will be energized. And this will cause Y3 to turn on. And because there's a latching, Y3 will not turn off. And the only way to turn off Y3 is by reaching the full extended position or X5. Now let's press PB1. As you can see here, M0 is energized. Y3 is energized also. And that will cause the cylinder here to extend. And now because we are at our full extended position, Y3 will turn off, and that will cause the cylinder to retract. And because M0 is on, and the cylinder is at fully retracted position again, the cylinder will extend again, and the cycle will repeat. And the only way to make this cycle stop is by turning off M0. We need to energize X1 or pressing PB2. Okay, that's it. Now let's have our simulation. Okay, that's it. That's how it works. Now let's go to our next exercise. Exercise 2. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and one actuator. If PB1 is pressed, the process will start. If PB2 is pressed, the process will stop. And now let's review the process. Cylinder will extend after 2 seconds if cylinder is at fully retracted position. Then after that, Cylinder will retract after 2 seconds if cylinder is at fully extended position. And the cycle will repeat. Okay, let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1.
And as you can see, the only way to stop the process is by pressing PB2. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer to this problem. Let's have our program analysis first. Let's press PB1. Okay, by pressing PB1, M0 will turn on. M0 will not turn off because there's a latching here. And as you can see on this rung, M0 is on and cylinder is at fully retracted position. That will cause timer 0 to turn on after 2 seconds. And because timer 0 is now on, the normally open contact of T0 will turn on and that will cause Y3 to turn on. And Y3 will not turn off even if T0 is off because there is a latching here. And because Y3 is on, the solenoid will turn on and that will cause the cylinder to extend. Okay, now the cylinder reaches the full extended position. That will make X5 to turn on and X4 to turn off. And as you can see, because X4 is off, T0 is off right now. And that will cause the normally open contact of T0 to turn off. But as you can see, because there's a latching, Y3 will not turn off. And now because X5 here is on, that will make the timer 1 to turn on after 2 seconds. Now, because T1 is on, all the contact of T1 will change. The normally closed contact of T1 will be open and that will cause Y3 to turn off. And now, because of that, the cylinder will retract. Because the cylinder is at fully retracted position, T0 will turn on again and the cycle will repeat. And the only way to stop the cycle is by turning off M0. And to turn off M0, we need to press PB2 or X1. Okay. Now let's have our simulation. Okay, that's it. Now, let's go to our next exercise. You have two push button and one actuator. If PB1 is pressed, the process will start. If PB2 is pressed, the process will stop. And by analyzing the process here, Cylinder will extend if the cylinder is at fully retracted position. Then after that, cylinder will retract if cylinder is at middle position. Next, cylinder will extend if cylinder is at fully retracted position. Then, cylinder will retract if the cylinder is at fully extended position. And the cycle will repeat. Now let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1.
Okay, that's it. The only way to stop the process is by pressing PB2. Okay, now I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer to this problem. Let's press PB1. And as you can see, by pressing PB1, M0 will be energized. And because there is a latching here, M0 will not turn off even if X0 is not energized anymore. And because M0 here is energized and the cylinder is at fully retracted position, Y3 will turn on. That will cause the cylinder to extend. And as you can see here, because we reached the mid position and Y3 is on and M2 here or the internal relay is off, M1 will turn on and that will cause the normally closed contact of M1 to be open and the normally open contact of M1 to be closed. And this one will cause M2 to turn on and normally closed contact of M1 will cause Y3 to turn off. And because M2 here is on, the normally closed contact of M2 here will turn off. Even if M1 here is off, M2 will still on because there is a latching here. And because Y3 is off now, the cylinder will retract. And because the cylinder is at fully retracted position, X4 will turn on and that will cause Y3 to turn on again. And now, because the cylinder is at fully extended position, it will cause M2 to turn off and Y3 to turn off also. And Y3 will turn on again. And the cycle will repeat unless M0 is off. And the only way to turn off M0 is by pressing PB2 or X1. Okay, let's go to our simulation. Now let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching this video and wait for the next episode of our tutorial. Thank you again. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the notification bell to notify you for new video please like and share my youtube videos and like my facebook page please click see first on our facebook page to notify you for new posts if you like this video please comment nice please comment negative and colon and put your negative comments about this video. Please type suggestion semicolon and put the suggestion about this video. And if you think that this video needs some improvement, just type improvement semicolon and put the things that you want to improve about this video. I will use all of your comment, negative comment, suggestion and improvement so that I can improve all my future videos. Thank you for all the feedbacks. And thank you again. See you next time.